Let's go. Big recruiting day for Wisconsin. They got a couple wins. And I've been kind of critical. Like the, the recruiting on both sides has been a little slow, but really good news today. I wanted to drop a quick emergency pod just to talk about it, be excited about it, because it's good to be excited about recruiting stuff. And they're not monster wins. It's not Tackett Curtis. Two preferred walk-ons committed to Wisconsin today on the basketball side and on the football side. And that can sound like a backhanded thing, but these are really good commits. And we've done a show before with John Garcia on the walk-ons, on the the way Wisconsin is able to use walk-ons, really good walk-ons to build depth and really generate some stars out of out of nothing. It's a very unique competitive advantage to Wisconsin, and I think they added to it today. So let's get into it. This is exciting. Um, let's start with basketball. Jack Jinnicky. 2023 White Bear Lake, um, Minnesota kid, 6'4", 180-pound shooting guard committed to Wisconsin. And again, this is a D1 dude. Both of these guys that committed today are D1 players, right? And uh, Janicki offers from Loyola, Rice, Vermont, Colorado State, Harvard, Wake Forest, Minnesota. Like, that's a really good offer list to get a player as a walk-on. He's 6'4", really good shooter. Uh, it kind of adds to the theme that we've talked about recently. Everybody Wisconsin has really added. Uh, in the last couple cycles, has been able to shoot, right? Blackwell, Gus Yaldin, Connor Asigian. They're after Nolan Winter. He's a shooter. Max Klesman coming in as a transfer as a shooter. I think Kamari McGee is going to shoot well, even though he didn't really last year. But the point is they've been adding shooting. Janicki fits right in with that. And, you know, watching some of the film, again, we're going to get deeper into both of these players. But, you know, he's a guy that has enough size, a good-looking stroke. It's a little slow, I think, but, like, really good-looking stroke, creates space for himself. Really interesting Janet Key's ability to score uh, multiple places off the court. He's not just a spot-up shooter, right? He's getting into the 15, 18-foot range, pulling up off the dribble, pump fake, one dribble in with that left-handed jumper. Um, again, you know, going in transition, getting contact around the elbow, coming around some traffic or a screen or a dribble handoff and shooting at the elbow with the hand in his face. Really, really like this is a great pickup as a walk-on. It's a good pickup as a scholarship player. This is a D1 dude. Uh, shooting guard that can really shoot average 24 per game last year division one offers enough size you know this is a guy that's very easy two or three years down the, the road when he's developed and he's gotten a little bigger faster more athletic you you see a guy who can be a legitimate d1 shooting guard at a high level because he can shoot the ball and he's got size and i think he's got playmaking ability uh, a couple clips of him finishing above the rim in transition so he's he's definitely not um only a shooter. I think he can score at all three levels. So I'm super stoked about it. Big time pickup for Gray Garden Company. Definitely somebody that is is beyond what you would normally get as a walk-on. And it just adds to that Wisconsin culture. On the football side, really the side that's more known for the walk-ons, you know, Will McDonald committed today. Will McDonald, the uh, younger brother, obviously, of Cade McDonald, who is on the roster out of Hudson, Wisconsin. He's a 6'4", 230, 240-pound defensive end, and another D1 guy, right? Cade our Will, sorry, Will McDonald offers from Army, Iowa State, Akron, Kansas, NIU, right? So that's a legitimate D1 dude. You have an Iowa State offer, a Kansas offer, Army, you know, at Northern Illinois. Um, and, you know, big guy. He's 6'4", 230 pounds. He, and you watch film of, of Will, and I'm telling you, he he moves really well. Moves really well. He gets down. Um, he fights off traffic, gets down the line of scrimmage, cleans up plays on the backside, shows the ability to play with his hands a little bit, a swim move, gets penetration. Um, great motor, right, as you would expect from a lot of Wisconsin kids. You know, he really gets after it. If he's blocked once or twice, he gets off that, comes around, still makes a big play. And like I said, for a 6'4", 230-pounder, he moves well. And the frame isn't isn't completely filled out. Like, you look at him, uh, Will, he can definitely add some weight. Um, and especially in the upper body, like it's easy to, to dream on, on Will McDonald in two or three years, he's going to be six, four, six, five, 275 pounds with a motor. He's going to be an impact player. I mean, you never know, right. Barring injury. And when I say impact player, I'm not saying he's going to be JJ Watt, but I'm saying he could definitely be, you know, in that, that long line of really good, solid, strong defensive ends, you know, and Isaiah Mullins, that type of player who gives Wisconsin a lot of great minutes along that defensive line. I, these two moves today are great. Like, be excited about it. They're not – when uh, if nobody knows Wisconsin walk-on culture better than Wisconsin fans. Like, these are two really good recruiting wins, one for the basketball side, one for the football side. And I just wanted to throw it out there that this is something to be excited about. This is really good news. Both these players, I think, have a road in a couple of years with a college strength and conditioning program to be 
real contributors and you got them for preferred walk-ons. A, that should tell you that, you know, the culture is pretty good in Madison still, right? Both of the coaching staffs, both the sides can sell family culture about as well as anybody. And adding these two to these two guys in, I think just exemplifies that. So a lot more coming up on both these players, but I wanted to talk about it. I'm excited about it. I think they're both really, really good pickups. So yeah, let's go.